Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Janie. If you're new here on this channel, I usually do videos on Squishmallow, Squishables, Build-A-Bear, Disney plushes, anything that I think is cute. So if you like that kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe. But today is actually going to be a little bit different. I'm talking about cute things. I'm talking about Animal Crossing, but it's actually my first Animal Crossing tattoo. I got this a couple months ago. It has fully healed and I thought I would talk about the process of getting my first actual colored tattoo as well as pain, healing, pricing, all that kind of stuff. So that's what today's video is going to be about. I'm going to timestamp everything i will say this was not technically my first tattoo i did a vlog about it on bunny dreams where i talk about getting a little where i got a little black tulip by an apprentice that was the apprentice of this tattoo artist that gave me the animal crossing tattoo so that one ended up fading it wasn't done deep enough i believe and half of it's faded out so that's why i'm not considering that my first tattoo anymore and also this one that i'm going to show you actually has shading coloring so the actual tattoo itself is jack from animal crossing so jack pops up during halloween and he's just really cute fun character i feel like a lot of people don't know who he is or are not playing animal crossing during halloween because when i first got this tattoo no one really realized like very few people realized oh that's from animal crossing so yeah jack is one of my favorite characters and i also happen to really really love halloween and everything about it it's my favorite time of year so i've been wanting a tattoo for a really long time but i like the very cutesy fun sweet kind of style as opposed to like what i normally see here in new york city which is very much traditional very saturated very like you know there's just a different look to it and i love that as well but on my body i wanted my first tattoo to be very cutesy and sweet and fun so i found a tattoo artist i found her on my explore page or my discover page on instagram she works at a tattoo place called yant studios and i found this tattoo artist that has very cutesy fun like pokemon tattoos animal crossing tattoos she has a very distinct style but they're also kind of on the smaller scale um, and I'll get to that in a little bit because I think there's a reason for that um, and I'll get to pricing in a little bit because that was like the most wild part of this but she was very popular and I'm gonna link her Instagram page down below I saw a lot of cute things and I looked at her highlights and she had one for flash like what was currently available because she's the type of artist that is one and done so when she does a design that's it you cannot get it if you want something like that she's gonna make something similar but never the exact same copy which not every tattoo to artists is like that i looked at her highlights and i saw jack so it was like i think it was like a fun little interaction with followers where they would submit two emojis and she would create a tattoo of it or inspired by them so it was a pumpkin and a lollipop i saw jack there i was like yes i need him because she's super popular i had to wait for her bookings to open so she's the kind of tattoo artist that will open up her bookings you can fill out the form let her know what you're looking for she'll close it she'll respond to people and then in two months she'll reopen it again and start the process all over again so there is a wait list this is not the kind of studio where you can just walk in each one of these artists has pretty loyal clientele and a large following so i emailed her i told her where i wanted it which was my forearm simply because i didn't i i was not particular it was my first tattoo i didn't really care where i was gonna place it um also i'm 29 years old by the way so i waited a good amount of time to get my first tattoo and then she came back to me she's like yes i told her i wasn't sure on the sizing like whatever she felt was good i didn't want to choose a sizing that was too small and then it was going to be too hard to get the detailing in there so she said a 1.5 inch tattoo was going to cost $350 and then I would give a $100 deposit which would be deducted from that total $350 is a lot but I'm not surprised I mean tattoo artists are going to charge what they're worth and you are paying for their professionalism their expertise their years of practice their equipment so i so i definitely understood that um and i booked the appointment i gave a hundred dollar deposit and then like a month or two later it was time for me to go in there i laid down with my hand extended and she got to work and it was super fast she was very friendly um it was painful it was definitely more painful than the other tattoo that got the little black tulip it was a pain that was very bearable though like it was very um mild it was not as bad as i thought it was going to be and honestly i think it's less painful than this one so i'm going to talk about this one next time around this is my sanrio tattoo and this one was a lot more painful i have a pretty high pain tolerance um initially i it, like the first moment i feel like it hurts because i'm just was not accustomed to it but as the minutes go by i think i i just zone out i start thinking about other things i focus on my breathing and that is really ultimately what helps me i wasn't on my phone because i would have had only one hand and i felt like i was gonna like, drop the phone on my face if i was like on it too much from that position but it wasn't super painful it's just like a stab like a scratch like a dull pain that 
would only get really it only got like kind of painful towards the end when she was doing the white highlights and like I guess there was like a little bit of blood and she was trying to like scrape it and it, it was just tender and sore which was something that I didn't experience my first time around I think because it didn't go deep enough but she was really fast she let me sit there while it kind of the area kind of cooled down a little bit and then we took some pictures and it was a beautiful tattoo it was stunning she explained the healing process to me she gave me some soap and some I think after ink to put on it and I really appreciated being sent home with those products because I didn't already own them I had aquaphor but in this case I did want to try something a little bit different the healing process was fine it was tender like it was an open wound I think that was like not the most painful part but that's like the most annoying part was the healing process because it had to lay a certain way and the skin what is that called the saniderm like the skin protector barrier I loved I love 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 that and it stayed on and honestly in retrospect I would have left it on just a little bit longer I think it took it off after a day and a half because I thought it was peeling but I think it could have stayed there a little longer because I kept it on longer for this one and I felt like the healing process was so much easier so much less gross but with this one it started to peel off a little I got some pictures it peeled off kind of like in one go while I was at work and like just kind of moving things around um, I tried my best not to touch it I tried moisturizing it like two to three times a day and washing it and all that good stuff and it, I never really got super itchy thankfully but it, it was just appealing that just kind of made you want to just like rip it off but obviously I left it there because I didn't want it to get infected or affected like the actual quality or the color I also got it during kind of a heat wave so I was trying to keep it covered from the sun but after a certain point I couldn't have like a sweater on and since it was still healing I couldn't put sunscreen on so I was very very nervous that it was gonna affect the color and it still looks fine I mean touch-ups are free so if I wanted to get it a little bit more saturated I know I can eventually go back to her but overall the process was amazing it was well worth it I want to go back to her and I was thinking about it there was this really cute um there's this really cute tattoo that she has in her flash thing but when i inquired about it she thought it would be better as a two inch tattoo so her minimum for an hour of work for like every hour is 300 um and when i talked about that other one that i wanted it was a little bit bigger she's like this is gonna look better as a two inch tattoo versus a 1.5 like i had so she's like it's gonna be 150 dollars and not only that but the deposit was 300 dollars. so at that point i was like mm, let me just hold off a little let me not get too very i think getting tattoos is very addicting and i was warned about it but i didn't really realize how much it was going to be um so ultimately just for budgeting reasons i decided to just skip it because it wasn't something that i absolutely loved it's something that i saw and i was like hey that's pretty cute why not do it but yeah that is my experience getting my animal crossing jack tattoo i definitely want to get more villagers at some point i want this arm to be animal crossing and i want this arm to be or this arm might be like Animal Crossing and Neopets. And then this arm will be um, Pokemon, basically anything Nintendo. Um, but we'll see. Because Jack's already here. I I'm not sure what I'm doing, honestly. Uh, but I do anticipate getting more tattoos in the future. And yeah, that being said, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. I'll definitely have a stuffed animal video at some point this week. So stay tuned. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, bye guys. Bye.